Okay, hey guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a weather map like this. Um, so yeah, we're just going to delete everything on this page. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we're going to go delete that bit. Okay. Where is our map? Okay, here we go. So we're going to drag your map over here. If you just search up blank map, I believe that's how I just found this one. Um, it's a pretty nice looking map. It's just basic. Um, pretty nice. It is a little, like, I guess you could say, like, curvy or something. Like, that doesn't look right. Some of this stuff doesn't look right. But it doesn't matter. Everybody's gonna know where they live, most likely, hopefully. And, so yeah. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the map down from this corner just a bit. Creating room for a, um a bar over here and then the title. So what I like to do is get right on the corner and get something like this. Now it's already in 3D format but we're going to just go to format real quick. So what you do is you right click and go all the way to the bottom on shape. And I use the uh, rectangle um, or square tool whatever you want to call it. Um, then we go to effects. I like shadow a little bit of shadow. Uh, you can do reflect. It looks kind of cool. Um, we'll just do it for now on this one. 3D format. Uh, we'll do. I like to do this one on this. Um, and you can change it to different. Uh, I put it to metal. Um, now we're going to pick a color. Usually a more blank color for the background. This is the background by the way. So we'll actually do black. I've never actually tried that. So it might be cool. Okay. Now what you do, you get crap. You get a uh, whatever it's called text box. Then get it in the center. And we're gonna write my weather page's name. It, Now we're going to crap that. <laughs> we're going to center it like that. Like so. We'll also get a format. We will create a 3D layer, but we're going to do this tool. We're going to get the color. that looks nice um so that's our title area you can Go to text options and do a gradient fill. I like doing that so you can do what color would look nice? Probably blue. No. Can't do orange. We'll do the gray. Gradient fill, by the way. That's what I'm doing right now. Gradient fill. There you go. That should be a nice title. Um, so now we're going to do the bar. We'll make a complete square. Now what we're going to do Try to copy it the best you can. Um, usually this is pretty easy. Now mine's preset to have a um, 3D format, but what you can do is um, go ahead and do the 3D format that looks like this. It's the, I forget what it's called. For Just for this one, we're going to have, um, 
we're just going to have three bars. And this is going to be a snowstorm. So we're going to have this one as a light snow area. There you go. You want it visible, that's the hard part. Trying to get it visible, and you can make your own color. And usually you'd make more bars than this, but just I'm trying to make it brief. So what we'll do is one, two, one, two inches. And trust me, you get a lot better at this eventually. Like I used to be like crap. I was using paint and stuff. It's just crap. Now we'll do two, two, four inches. Then we'll do four to eight. So usually you would have a lot more bars like coming all the way up, like, you know, go, getting up to 18 inches or something. So. But I'm just trying to make it brief, like I said. So we're going to zoom it in. And let's say this is going to be a nor'easter. Cool nor'easter. Okay. So. And it's a big storm, like, going pretty far south. Okay, so what we'll do. is do this until you get all the way up so yeah just gonna pause it and then as soon as I'm done drawing it on then uh, this one I'll show you what to do okay now that I'm done um, it, it like I said it has a preset um, 3d format so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that heck no heck no so now we're going to go down to one to two inches. This is a pretty sucky nor'easter. Um, I'm not going to lie. Now we'll, what I like to do is add a big background or outline so you have a buffer zone to draw along the, the outline. Um, you don't have to be completely accurate. That's what it does. Yeah, I'm, I'm like that. I'll do sloppy things like that. But okay, now what we'll do is I'd like to set it to 50. But with this kind of a storm, we're going to want to set it to 60 because uh, there's going to be three layers. It's the only problem with this way is you're going to have to find a way to layer it and make it not blurry. That's why I do the out, 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 outline also. It helps to see. Um, so. And I'll do the background one bigger than the last one, so that it's so that it doesn't um, so that it doesn't like show the other background. It still will, but um, if you do it one or two bigger, it should help. The only good thing is, is people usually don't point out those things; they won't really notice them. Um, so that's what this is how I do it. Now I'll get rid of the 3D format. I have no clue why it's preset to do the 3D format on mine. It just is. It was just born that way. Okay. Now we will select that. Select that. Actually, what we'll do is. So this one doesn't have to be as big. Now this one's also going to be 60. 
actually we will set this one to 70 just because it has the darker color usually with dark colors you can do more and when you do the outline technique you can usually fade it a lot more because people still know what layer it is that's that's what I love okay now for eight and like I said this is a completely unrealistic storm this would never happen this is just my dream storm I live in Southeast Virginia, so I am kind of making it snow a lot where I live, just because I wish this would happen. Sometimes I play around to make fake forecasts, maps like this, just to, just to, I don't know, satisfy me. Okay, ready for 3D format. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's gone. Now we'll go up to this. Okay. I think I was pretty accurate with this one, so we can lower it back to three. Kind of. Okay. And like I said, um, just work around uh, the fading thing. So, since that one's in the background and doesn't show a lot, we can actually put this one up to 80 even, maybe. And uh, it won't be as noticed. So, there you go. Looks a lot nicer now. Um, so, yep. That's how I do it. And looks pretty nice, as you can see put on a Facebook page, website, YouTube channel, anything you want. So yep, uh, thanks for watching guys, see you later, um, I hope this helped you, uh, this was actually requested by a guy, and like I said, uh, if you want to get in the weather, I'll help you out man, like, yeah, uh, anybody else too, like, if you want to get in the weather, just uh, private message me and I'll help you out, um, give you a shout out or something, um, but yeah, thanks for watching, see you later.